Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of RD Technical Learning. So in this video, we will be covering the Java programming interview questions, coding interview questions that would be asked frequently in the real time interviews. And in this video, we will be covering the program of finding a vowel in the string, right? Now, as soon as you get this program in an interview to write string related program, right? It's a string related program. So two things should click in your mind. One is you will have to find the vowels in the string. So you will have to traverse the string. So you will have to use str.length, right? Because you will have to traverse through each and every character that is present in the string, right? Second is character at index, right? So that also we would need because that would help us to extract the characters those are present in the string. So we'll be writing this, <clears throat> sorry, program in detail. And if you feel that there is any other approach also, then you can put in the comment section of the video. And before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Right. So now let us uh, open IDE, right? You can open any IDE that you are comfortable with. Okay. This is one of my package public. I would say class. Okay. Finding wobbles. Oh, let's keep only finding. Okay, then let us create a string variable. String str equal to, for which string we have to find the vowels are present or not. So let's take the string, okay. Why it is showing invalid character constant. Okay, let me remove this. Yeah, okay, public static, void, main, string, ARGS. Okay, now, what are vowels? Let me remove, this is not required. Okay, we'll see those errors later. But what are vowels? So vowels are nothing but characters A, E, I, O, U. These are vowels. Okay, so if these are present in your string, then we'll have to check whether those strings are present. If they are present, then we have to give the output as those characters are present. If they are not present, then we have to give the output as false, okay? Now, anything that is present or not present, okay? Whether it is there or not there. So which data type we will use for that? We will use Boolean data type, right? Is true or is false? So if you remember in the childhood, we all used to play games, hide and seek, right? We used to ask, sometimes, you know, we just used to have fun with our friends, colleagues, whether are you there or not? So someone who is a very small child, who is a very small innocent, yes, I'm there, right? So it's there or not, it's yes or no. So it's a Boolean variable, right? First, let's understand the logic and then we'll see on resolving the errors. Don't worry about that. So Boolean will create one uh, is vowel present, is vowel and by default, we'll make it as false. Let's move I as small and V as capital. Okay, now we'll go for for loop. For integer I equal to zero, right? I is less than str dot length what is the length so that particular thing will get from this function length of the string right and every time we have to increment it by one i plus plus okay then 
for loop if if condition right so now what will come in the if condition if str dot character at index i right is it equal to this character a or how will you define or this is a way how you will define or right and then let's copy paste mm, let's copy paste multiple times okay an interview you have to save your time so quickly we have to do okay as i'm explaining so it will be taking time but an interview you should be real quick I O U A E I O U, right? If it is there, right? Then system. Okay, let let me put this system dot out dot println character I. Okay. If it is okay if it is present or not so first let us keep present okay if it is there then let's keep it as present okay now let's look at this formatting things if condition will come in this manner right for here we have done a silly mistake in writing right for i is less than str dot length right public class why it is showing like this class at the rate expected right so now let's quickly resolve other errors so this is the string so it will come in double quotes right i think in the file name also i've done mistake rename file type to finding okay oh this parenthesis okay so you can use intellij right that is uh it will quickly help you out. I need to fix it in my laptop. Otherwise, you can use uh, IntelliJ. Otherwise, I would have also used same. So, no worries. We'll quickly resolve these errors. Okay. And this kind of practice is good. Actually, if you are giving uh, real-time mock interviews, then these things will help you out. Public class finding. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's it. We are ready. Okay. So now let's run this program. See, it is printing six times. Okay. So A, U, O, A, O, I. Right. So six. But now we'll <clears throat> have a better output. If it has been asked in an interview, check whether a uh, vowel is present or not, then this logic is fine. Now, let's enhance this output okay in interview you will have very less time so you have to come up with the logic this is the logic now let's work on the output statements okay in the output what all thing you can write we can write instead of this we can write system dot out dot print ln str dot character at index i right that and Along with that, we can also write str dot character. Right. So, okay, so let us, you can also show this as the output. A U O A I O, right? So only the vowels those are present. Those also you can put. You can also print which vowel is present at which index value, right? So that also you can put. Right. So this you can also print at which index it is present. something we have mistaken okay we have to put double quotes so you can put like vowels 
present at right and this is a variable for us so double quotes plus str dot character i right this is a variable present let's put present first right at index right so this will be your second variable okay vowels present at okay, and this is a statement so again this will require this okay maybe here we have started vowels present at right So this is already closed there. So now let's run this program. Yeah, so see, now this is a output. Vowels present A at index 0, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. 0 is A, 1 is U, 2 you can ignore, 3 is again O, 4 you can ignore, 5 is there, 7 is there, 8. So. This is how you can write a program finding vowels in a string, right? If they ask you in an interview, check the vowel is present or not, then just mark if statement and system.out.println, right? If they ask you at which index, then this is how you can put. But if they don't ask you any of these, then just put break statement, just put system.out.println simple. In an interview, when writing the programs, it is very important that your logic is clear right syntax is here or there would be there then it will it is still acceptable right but your logic should be clear right the the flow of the program in your mind should be clear so that you can explain the interviewer quickly right so this is how we will explain in an interview okay so uh, thank you so much for watching this video right and uh, i think this is good Now, one more thing is that initially we initialize this variable, right? But then we haven't used it. One more approach to write this program would have been if this uh, str dot character i is equal to a, then you can put those system dot out dot print ln boolean is value, is vowel, sorry, is value not, is vowel value. If it is false or true, right? If it is true, then you can print statement. If it is false, you can print statement it is vowels are not present right so currently we haven't used the statement right uh, maybe i was thinking about two approaches so it came out but this is the perfect program for finding the vowels in the string right so thank you so much for watching this video please do hit like button please share in your network subscribe our channel because it takes a lot of time and a lot of you know uh, energy in explaining such things Thank you so much.